What's up, everybody? Pete with Auto Repair Tips. We are working on a 2018 Nissan Titan. A customer's complaint, driving along, the RPMs go up and down at a low idle. He's had it at a few other shops, and they weren't able to find the problem, so he brought it to me to look at. And let's see if we have some better luck. He said the um, check engine light has been on. The other shops diagnosed it as his headlights. And from what he was telling me, he replaced the headlights with, uh, I think he said LEDs or whatever. So there's no, the communication between the module and the headlights is not correct. So we're okay with that. They said there was nothing in there about the idle or anything else. I haven't taken it for a test ride yet. I think first thing I'm going to do is put my scanner on it. Let me run a full system scan and let's see if maybe my computer picks up something there's did. The data link connector is located. Here's your steering wheel directly under here, right under the dash. It's a white connector. I think I'd be a little more prepared. All right, let's hit scanner. It is a... Oh. Automatic ID detected. We are working on the Titan. Continue. You know, with some of these um, tools, and this could be some people's issue, I actually had to get another subscription when it says performing a system call. Some of your Chryslers and some of the newer cars, when you go to, if you don't have this other program to link into, you can only do certain things. So when it says performing system call, I'm guessing this might be one of those ones. All right, finally let me in. Let's do a code scan. We'll do a pre-scan. Now see, right off the bat, it shows an accelerator pedal position sensor, the cooling fan speed sensor, and refer to only repair for code description. That's probably going to be the problem right there, right off the bat. This may be one of those vehicles that you had to have that extra subscription. We got no Chrysler for sure. Some of the newer ones you can't get, but so far, because it's like, an, it, what it does is it calls up this company and it says that, yeah, you're a repair facility or you are a person who paid and bought their subscription. And it lets you go further into the computer. Because according to him, and matter of fact, I have the other shops, and I'm not going to say who they are, but I have the other shops printout. They don't even show these things. In the transmission, it says uh, that's a history code, so we don't worry about history codes. The lock brake, battery voltage, that's probably nothing. Airbag. We are going to go, we're going to start with code P2138. The accelerator pedal position sensor. Let's start off with the diagnose. And that does make sense because if it's at low RPMs, it could be one bad spot in that sensor somewhere. So let's look at a uh, Sky Technical Service Bulletin. As soon as it's done loading, let's check that out real quick. Uh, vibration during light or moderate throttle input. This bulletin has been amended. So light vibration. He's not really saying a vibration. Maybe he's confusing a, uh, an idle surge with a vibration. Let's just take a look at that anyway. A reference number, let's see, go to a customer complaint. Air hotter, dog shit in here. Um, a vibration during light or moderate at 20 to 40 miles an hour at low speed. As a matter of fact, he said it was under 40 miles an hour. Here, or RPM flare slash slip. Feeling vibration during or intermittently after two or three upshifts or three or four downshifts with light or moderate throttle input. The action it took was replace the torque converter. Ay, ay, ay. I don't think he's having that. I think he's gonna have the other one. Let's go back one. Let's go into smart data. Let's see what smart data tells me. Let's see how smart smart data is. In progress, collecting data. Okay. So we have two things out of whack here. Let's take a picture of this for the customer. That's going to upload to the cloud, and I'll be able to print this out and show them what we found. So it says throttle position sensor, two battery volts of 7.77 throttle position sensor. Oh, you're kidding me, you slack it. No, I'm going to get back on the vehicle cut off. Seriously. All right. Throttle position sensor, two uh, battery volts is 
I'm guessing that's low. Throttle position sensor one, battery voltage 0.75. See if I give it the BS, what happens? I've got the accelerator power fully depressed, and it says here 4.60, 4.61, which is in the red also. When my foot is off the gas, those are correct. Give it the gas, they're in this incorrect. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm gonna give it the gas. We'll screenshot this. Let's go back one. What I did was I went into guided component testing and the next screen is asking me to pick which one of these it is. My description doesn't tell me, so let me make a couple of calls real quick and then make sure I get the right one picked. All right, after making a phone call, it is a Titan S, so verify that for sure. Let's go to the accelerator pedal position sensor. That's what we have there. So we're going to do DC voltage test. It says uh, connect the test leads. Yellow, see so a position one. Green will be position two. Black to known good ground. The key on, engine off, accelerator pedal fully closed. Signal one should be about five volts. Signal two should be about 0.25 volts to five volts. Slowly push the pedal. That should go to 4.2 to 2, 4.8, and the other, the, and the sensor two should go to 2.0 to 2.5. I'm gonna go ahead and get this hooked up. Once I get it hooked up, I'll show you how I did it, and we'll run some tests. So a lot of your cars nowadays, they don't have cables anymore. They're all done with electronics. And this position sensor is located right up top here, on top of the accelerator pedal. To get to the wires, you pull this red tab out and the connector comes off right here. So you get another light on it for you. What it says, it says put your yellow one in the position sensor one and the green in the position sensor two. That is what I've done so far. So let's get this sensor hooked back up. And you push this tab in and it just snaps on. Let's go ahead and hit view meter. So after I got everything hooked up, let me show you kind of what was going on a little bit. Let's go to um, data, hit it again. They should both be in the low volts. Like I said, 0.5 to 1.0. The factory setting came at five volts. Well, if you notice, the yellow one is off the chart. So what I did was to see it, I went ahead and went to 20 volt scale and back and it came in here, but it should be right here lined up with the number one. So we already can see it's not 0.5 to 0.1, it's 3.5. So it's way off the mark. It should be way down here on that marker right there. The number two one should be 2.5 should be 0.25 to 0.5 it is sitting at zero so that's way off the mark if i slowly apply the gas that's when the yellow one should go up to 2.5 and it is definitely not working we clearly have a bad position sensor on the accelerator pedal i'm going to go ahead and price it out let me call the customer see what they want to do if he wants to do it i'll get it installed and we'll take some more readings and I'll show you what a good reading should look like. We just got the gas pedal in. The part number 18002-EZ20 Alpha. And this is what it looks like. Alright, let's get it on the car. This gas pedal is held on at 312. <laughs> Pretty simple to install. We just unbolt it and bolt the new one in. There's one push clip right here that's holding that cable on. If you break it, make sure you go back to Lisa wire tie. Definitely secure it.
when you put the connector back on, it just lays on top. And the brown in this burgundy clip, a brownish clip, just push it forward and it snaps it in place. All right, let's get the scanner hooked back up and let's take some readings. I got the scope hooked back up to it. If you guys remember from before, when I pressed the gas pedal, only the yellow side was sweeping. Now watch. Well, that's how it's supposed to look. Nice and smooth. No dropouts. Oh, uh, you can tell it's been a long week. It's Friday. And I, I skipped a whole procedure. That's kind of what screwed everything up. And the readings weren't correct after I installed the new accelerator pedal. There is a relearn procedure. Uh, my man went br blank. I had a brain fart or whatever the problem was. I don't I have no idea. I just missed the whole damn procedure. But what you need to do is need with the accelerator with the accelerator pedal with the pedal fully released you turn the key on two seconds off for 10 on for two and off for 10. and once you do that it relearns it and there's no more issues and what happened was when i first put it on there i turned the key on and was checking my readings and what you saw the green one didn't sweep the yellow one did so I'm me checking and I turned that key off and on accidentally three or four times and that cleared everything. That's why everything started working. But again, I'm glad it's Friday. It's time to go home and unwind. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Catch you later.